So, some people are good at math and some people aren't, right? That feels like a box that we're either in or we're not. What if we really change the meaning of math? How would that really look like? Well, in this video, I am going to discuss just that. Welcome, my name is Brian McLogan and I make short, to the point math tutorials for struggling students because I was once one of those struggling students. So I know exactly how it feels and I use that experience as struggling to help others. I think part of the reason why I struggled with math growing up is because our education system rewarded doers, not thinkers. Now, what is it I really mean by doers? What I mean by doers are those were the people that could solve math problems very quickly and with no errors. And that wasn't me at all. It took me a long time uh, to understand math concepts, sometimes days and even weeks. And when I, even when I did do the math, I made a lot of silly errors. Now, there was a time when we needed doers. We relied on people that had a gift with numbers, speed, and accuracy. Many of our society's greatest accomplishment came because we had so many doers. Well, guess what? Life has changed because of technology. We still need doers, but much of what we used to rely on with doers to complete, we now have technology. We don't need a lot of people to crunch numbers to solve equations. We have stuff that can do that just at a touch of a button. What we need is thinkers. Thinkers with an understanding of math that can help us analyze, reason, model, and predict. The problem I see with our education system is we still reward the doers and not the thinkers. Most thinkers are pushed out of mathematics because they don't excel like the doers, just like me. We need to change this because even though math has not changed throughout the years, how we use it and understand it now has. We don't need people that can do complex math problems anymore. We need people that understand math complex problems. We don't need people that do not make any mistakes. We need people that can identify and make sense of mistakes. We don't need people that can show all the steps to the problem. We need people that can dissect as well as interpret those steps. We don't need people that can find the answers today. We need people that can predict the answers of tomorrow. Now, really doers are not bad people. And in reality, they can be one and the same as thinkers. But we can't keep on rewarding the doers and leaving behind the thinkers. We will always need doers in our society, but we need thinkers now more than ever. So what do you think about this topic? Uh, are you a doer or a thinker? Was your educational experience kind of like mine? Did they reward doers or maybe did they reward thinkers? I'd love to see your comments below. If you're not already a subscriber, I would love to have you. I post math tutorials to help struggling students with their math every single day. So keep on learning, work hard, and stay curious.